Hello, my name is Andre O'Brien from Inoculate Vision and Design, and uh, this is the Talk Designer Assistant for Poser 8 Bramps tutorial. Bramps, uh, Toon Bramps is a, uh, a figure that is currently sold on uh, Daz3D.com, and he is a character whose morphs, whose um, lip syncing morphs, uh, or phonemes, or visemes of uh, morphs, are built based off of the Michael Four character. Um, I'm beginning to realize that uh, this next generation of characters um, whose developer has built the uh, the morphs um, pretty much exclusively off of, um, as you can see these little icons, off of dependencies. Um, I'm going to have to do one or two things. Either I'm going to create Every time uh, you bring a, you bring to my attention a new character, I'm going to have to create the step one and step two process for that character, or I'm going to have to embed that step one and step two process in Talk Designer Assistant like I did for uh, Michael 4 and uh, Victoria 4. Okay. All right. So, in the meantime, this is the steps that you have to follow uh, in order to get Gramps uh, to work in Poser 8 for Talk Designer. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to create the blink morph, morph, and we go to uh, his eyes uh, dash brows section and set the eye blink L and the eye blink R to one. We go to object and then spawn morph target. We uh, name this new morph blink, and we zero out the eye blink L and the eye blink R. Um, our next step is to rename Gramps. Go to body. Go to Gramps and body. And then rename Gramps just for the time being Michael 4 because Talk Designer Assistant is looking for Michael 4. We don't want to disappoint. Okay. Now we're ready to initiate our step one. Now, in order to do this, you must have gone to um, Content Paradise and downloaded um, the free uh, update for uh, step one and step two for Gramps. Um, it'll be named TDA uh, underscore Gramp Step 1 or TDA underscore Gramp Step 2. We're going to select Gramp Step 1. And the process has been completed. Uh, that first process will create the new morphs. Okay. Um, our next step will be to open up Talk Designer Assistant. And if we read in those morphs, you'll see that uh, Michael 4, the current figure, which is Michael 4, which is actually Gramps, is uh, selected and his morphs for each sound uh, are automatically placed, but you'll note that the capital and lowercase o and the w aren't placed. That's because um, those two sounds um, are not common between uh, Gramps and uh, Michael Four. Gramps has about 28 morphs dedicated to lip syncing, whereas uh, Michael Four, if I'm not mistaken, has about 15. So uh, what I would do real quick, and you can select whatever morphs you want. Mine, you can clear these morphs and add whatever morphs you want. Um, but just for the sake of time, we'll just go with the Michael convention. Also, excuse me, if you were going to add your own morphs, use the morphs that you just created, the new. Make sure you add the new underscore in the morphs, not the original uh, speech morphs, because those are dependencies, and um, Talk Designer will not recognize those dependencies. Okay? So... Again, always we're going to focus on the new morphs that were created with step one. Okay, I would use uh, maybe this right here for O and W sound. Use two for the W sound. Um, the last step, which is important, is you want to rename um, the figure name parameter, uh, value to. Gramps, which is the original name for the character. Um, this is important because once we press assist, you don't want to overwrite your old um, Michael Four Visine map if you've already created one with this one, um, because uh, it's not going to work uh, exactly like you want it to work. I mean, it's going to be uh, the O's will be replaced and the W will be replaced. Um, so you want to make sure that the last step that you do. Is that figure name you rename it back to uh, you rename it back to uh, Gramps. This is not going to affect Poser 
itself is just going to affect the rising man that's created. We press assist, assist complete, and we can close out talk designer. We, if you want to, you go back and rename uh, your character back to Gramps. Okay, our next step is to use the talk designer and we add our sound. I'll try to pick a pretty good sound. Then we go to the Vise Emat and Gramps. Select Gramps. Uh, I like to ratchet up the blink so you can get a good idea. Blink. We click Apply. And as you can see, the mouth is now moving. Pretty good, and he's blinking. Um, the next step, the last step for this character is to go to Scripts and then go to TDA uh, Gramps Step 2. You hit TDA Gramps Step 2. And go through the process, the process is complete, and with any luck, our character is now talking with the jaw and the tongue moving in the ears. Simon, sleepest thou? What? Can you not watch with me? One hour? Very good. Gramps is now talking, uh, and all is well. Um, this, the step one and step two for Gramps should only be used with uh, the Gramps character. Um, to my knowledge, I don't know if there are any other characters that has his uh, lip sync, um, uh, has the names of his amorphs um, uh, the same as uh, Gramps. So uh, the Gramps download, which is a free download, should only be used with uh, the Gramps character. Also, keep in mind that the Gramps step one and step two should re you should use these steps um, instead of using uh, Talk Designer Assistant's edit step one and step two from Michael and Victoria Four. With Gramps, you don't use it. You use those steps through Talk Designer Assistant. You use those steps through uh, the scripts, uh, Nakalee Vision and Design um, sub menu uh, in your Poser um, application. You go to to uh, step one for Gramps. Then step two in the appropriate spot. Uh, this has been uh, Andre O'Brien and uh, from Akane from Anakale Vision and Design. Um, thank you very much, and I hope that you enjoy.